Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is checking out an application called Do. Now, Do, spelt with two O's, is a new application, well, fairly new application, that was released probably about last year, I think it was, and it has been making some traction based on its really agile experience. Now, the idea behind this application is reminders. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check out some of the features, we're gonna look at the pricing, and I'm gonna share some of my opinion on the application. So Do, in its essence, is focusing around reminders. So the application in itself is very gesture based. So essentially it's based around cards. So you can create a reminder just by tapping the plus button in the middle. Once you do that, you can actually either base things around a location. So you can actually organize a reminder to go off when you're around a location. So for example, here I put like buy birthday cards when I'm near the shopping mall. Uh, but you can also base it around a specific thing, you know, like anything. It could be pick up the groceries or go to coffee. Um, and you can add certain information. So for example, when you can put it on repeat and it goes into quite a lot of detail there, which is great. So once you've got that set up, there's some experiences around it that make it a little easier. So obviously uh, to do has been released for a while, but in do to, which is the latest version I'm checking out here, you have locations and that's something fairly new, which is quite nice. So you can actually set an activation zone. Uh, I said it's 150 meters, which is fairly accurate based on any GPS out there, which is great. Uh, so you can actually set a reminder for when you are arriving and leaving a location, which is pretty cool. The other thing you can do now is checklists inside of Do. So whenever you're setting a reminder, you can actually set items inside of the reminder, which is pretty cool. So you can either add notes, which is just regular, like you just add where that is, uh, or you can add checklists, which is actually contextual. So you can click into them and tick them off. That's great for groceries or like trips or anything out of the way, which is great. And they have a thing that they've added recently called collaboration, which I'm quite excited about, but I want to cover more in the Mac review. So the idea behind this is you can actually share reminders with anyone using email or any of the other like sharing applications you have, whatever it is. And you can collaborate based on uh, like, for example, you can share uh, a checklist of grocery and you can actually go around and actually like share that with your friends, which is great. Uh, and it's got this really cute card thing. But anyway, I'm gonna be sharing that in more detail uh, in the next coming uh, next video for uh, do for Mac. There's also some other things like customizations. You can actually have custom repeat intervals. So anywhere between days, months, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, fairly simple. And also you have, when you're actually adding the context to the thing, uh, you can actually have options where you can actually uh, modify uh, when you see it, which is pretty cool. You've also got iCloud Drive as a sync, which is quite nice. You can actually seamlessly store it when you're using Mac and the iOS version, which I find really handy. A lot of a lot of applications tend to use a service like Dropbox, but that can get messy if it's not optimized for it. Obviously, when you set a reminder, it won't appear in the central home feed column of Do, but when it's uh, like ready or you're there uh, and that reminder needs to appear, it will come up. Now, if you swipe away, it will snooze it for an hour, but if you swipe it for a certain period of time, uh, you can actually modify that in the settings, so you can actually uh, bypass the default one, uh, and if you've got force touch, uh, you can actually select uh, some of the presets, which is quite cool. So that's only for iOS, not iOS 6, uh, iPhone 6S Plus users. So the other thing you can do is go to this list view as well. So you actually have the upcoming reminders, which is great. So you can see everything that's upcoming. They have really beautiful animations. Well, not animations, they're more like graphics. You can actually see completed from here. So actually items that are completed, but you can actually bring it back into your upcoming ones in case you made a mistake. One of the things that I'm really impressed by is actually it's is gesture support. So the, one of the things it's very natively built uh, and it flows so well, it's almost like a really much better designed reminders application for iOS. Uh, now I'm gonna be trying out the Mac version, so that's gonna be coming in a few weeks, uh, but it is something that I'm looking forward to because I know the Mac version has one of those calendar functions around it. So it's sort of embedding like calendar with tasks. So Do is available on the App Store for $3.99, which I think is a reasonable price for a one-off purchase. 
the design is probably something that makes it uh, stand out and available on a Mac App Store for $9.99. Now, that I think is slightly high, but then Mac applications are always higher. And for such a well-designed one that I've managed to have a play around with, I think it's fairly reasonably priced. I mean, it's a little over the top, but not too much. Now, I recommend this really for your personal life. If you've got a really heavy task manager for your like daily routine and you've got like, like tons of tasks, context tags and things like that, it might get a bit messy, but something like this would really ground you in terms of having some fit out of work. I'm really looking forward to your opinions and thoughts when you've downloaded this one or checked it out. It is something that I'm gonna be checking out more often. It's a really smooth application and something that I'm keeping an eye on. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.